So I went to the most wild all gay party that I've ever been to in my life last weekend. I've actually been to this party before and the first time was really amazing, but this last weekend was like next level. This is the type of party where they have multiple DJs playing and everybody who gets invited is really good vibes. Also, mostly fairly attractive people, all different ethnicities, all different like types of guys, but everyone is kind of very open who gets invited there, right? And by open, I mean everybody's willing to uh, have fun with each other and that's kind of the point of the party. So I live in Santa Barbara, but I have a shitload of gay friends down in LA and I hang out with this group of guys, like I said, who are very open-minded, free-spirited, free to be their authentic selves. And this party that I went to was um, basically that whole group of guys, or most of them. And I show up and like, first thing I do, I walk in, most of the people are already shirtless. Some of them are in jock straps. First thing I do, of course, is like put my bag in the guy's room, change into my jock strap. And then for a while, I'm just kind of vibing. I'm getting to know the new people there who I hadn't met before. We're all like just chatting and dancing to house music. And within 30 minutes of me arriving there by like 11 p.m., there's already people going at it in different rooms. Like you can walk into a room and you might find two people on a bed. You might find seven people on a bed. Like anything goes. And there were a couple new guys there that I was like really, really into. Like, oh my God, they were so freaking hot. And I was like, okay, are they into me? Like, do they want to, you know, let me stick it to them. And I started chatting with one of them and I kind of like was putting my hand on his back and he was wearing shorts at this point, like just shirtless. He had never been to a party like this before. And as we're chatting and I'm putting my hand on his back, he's putting his hand and back on my back. And I'm kind of like start playing around with his waistline, like sticking my hands around like the edge of like the back of his waistline, grabbing his tush, stuff like that, right? He seemed to be really enjoying it. So I was like, okay, clearly this guy's into me. Let's see what happens. So I started asking him like what his expectations were for the night, like what he thought of it so far. And he definitely seemed like a little nervous, but he was clearly enjoying it. And I really enjoyed getting to know him more. Like I was asking him personal questions and stuff like that. And then we started dancing together. We're vibing. We're like grinding up on each other. Right. And then I was like, Hey, do you want to go into one of the bedrooms with me? And he was like, yeah, like, let's go. So I take him into the guy's bedroom, like the host of the party's bedroom, and it's just me and him in there at that point. So I push him down on the bed, I start making out with him, he starts pulling off my jock strap. I start pulling off his shorts, we're making out with each other now with nothing on, like, you know, him on top of me, and I kind of like flipped him over and pushed him on it, like, so he was on the bottom, and I climbed on top of him and started kissing him more. And then I moved on to other places and started like, you know, getting everything prepped. And after a while, I could tell he was very comfortable and feeling really good. And I asked him, are you ready for me? And he said, yes. So I got it in there and started showing him a really good time. I mean, I started off slow. I'm always gentle at first. And then after I could tell he was like, you know, handling it okay, I really started going to town. I probably can't go into too many details about that, but let's just like say, you know, like, jackrabbit style like just going he's like moaning he's like super into it i was living for it like we were flipping around into all different positions and then like other guys came into the room and like jumped on the bed next to us they're doing the same thing and like by the time we were done there were literally like seven other people in there some just watching other people getting involved with each other other people kind of like jumping into like basically be involved with us too. Honestly, that would have been like really freaky for me a couple years ago. Like that would have been so overwhelming. I was not always confident and comfortable enough to really just be cool with exploring that and having multiple people there, basically having people watch you while you're doing that. Like that could be a little jarring, right? But now with like these type of really open-minded, free-spirited people, it is so much fun. Like, I know not all gay guys do this or are comfortable doing this, but I'm pretty sure not many straight people do. Maybe some, but like, I can't even imagine being straight and <laughs> not getting to experience that level of like freedom and openness and just like mutual understanding of what each other want and what each other are comfortable with. 
honestly, being gay is fucking amazing. It is so much fun. Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, me and him really like had a great time. And then after that, he started having some fun with other guys. I started having some fun with other guys. And there was this one guy who I talked about earlier that I was also really, really into. He was kind of like with this other guy a lot throughout the night. And it's probably like four or five in the morning at this point. But I walked into a room where he had nothing on. He was literally like on the bed, like just on his hands and knees on the bed with, you know, the perfect part of him facing me that I would want to be facing me. So I go up to him and I kind of asked for some consent and he was like, yeah, go for it. So we started fooling around too. The guy that he had been fooling around with the rest of the night too was like laying right next to him. And I wasn't really that into that guy to be honest, but that's okay. Like it was cool having him there. I still leaned over and kissed him and stuff too. I really wasn't sure if this was like his boyfriend or what the deal was. So I ended up giving it to this guy as well. And as I'm giving it to him, oh my God, like I, I like to dirty talk a lot, like, like a lot. And I like to be daddy. And this guy was really getting into like calling me daddy, me calling him a good boy, like me directing him, telling him what to do and like asking him what he likes. And we just like vibed really well. I mean, like the things he was saying to me, like, yes, daddy, like, please finish for me, daddy. Like, please finish inside me, daddy. Like all this stuff like that was driving me wild. And I'm just like, yeah, you like that? Like you like daddy's whatever filling you up <laughs> stuff, terrible stuff. And he was livid for it. I mean, like I was watching him go from like clearly enjoying it to like mind blown enjoying it. I literally cannot explain probably without violating guidelines, like to the extent of this talking went while going at it. But I will say that one of my favorite parts was when I was like, whose hole is that? And he's like, yours, sir. And I was like, yes, it is. Good boy. That's right. I don't know. Do other people really like dirty talk like that? Is it just me? Like, I, it, it really, it really, really does get me going. So it didn't take all that long. And I um, completed the job, <laughs> filled him up. And then after that, I was kind of done with like the whole sexual aspect of things. Like, you, honestly, I love those part, like that part of these parties, but my favorite part is just like dancing, vibing to house music and chatting and getting to know new people and make new connections. So after that, I went back out. I started chatting and vibing with more people. I had no clothes on. Actually, I'm pretty sure like 70% of the party at this point was just hanging out, dancing with nothing on. We're all totally comfortable with that. It's hot. Like you get to look around and see other guys, everything you get to touch what you want to touch, be touched where you want to be touched. But mainly we're just like vibing and hanging out and laughing and having a good time. Again, I don't think many straight people get to experience that. I don't even think all that many gay people do. But if you're comfortable with that, I highly recommend finding a group of guys that is like free, open, free to be their authentic selves and comfortable with that. Like it is so much fun. I, I, I can't even begin to explain. I did not want to leave this party. Like they kept, I left at 7.30 in the morning. They were still going. Like I literally walked out the door and there's still house music blasting inside. One of the DJs is still playing and they're not even paid DJs. I ended up buying a deck recently myself. So I am planning on getting really good at DJing. Hopefully I've played the violin before, the guitar, the drums. So Hopefully I'll pick this up fairly fast and I have a lot of DJ friends who are happy to show me the ropes. So stay tuned for lots of live streams of me DJing some epic house music. Also, yes, I do tell stories on other platforms. Uh, my favorite one happens to be in the link in my IG bio. Check it out if you want, but if you want to just stick with these ones, a little more censored versions, that's cool too. Either way, hit follow for more stories and thanks for listening.